Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. Last time uh, we started the game, uh, we went through the first two levels, so we've done Sunny Villa and Sheila's Alp, uh, 100%. Uh, this time we're going to head over to Cloud Spires, which is just over there, and check it out. Uh, again, this game is the one that I never played before this front playthrough, this is all brand new to me. Um, Spyro 2 I played a little bit of, Spyro 1 I played a lot as a kid, so... Yeah, Spyro 3 is the new one to me, and it's an experience. Uh, cool. So yeah, we're entering Cloud Spires, we've got, a, got, our, got our pride glasses on. Let's go. Okay. Start grabbing treasure. Uh, they changed it so enemies give you treasure again in this game, right? Oh, that's that's an enemy. My goodness. Enemy worth 25? Or was that just 5? Was enemy worth, like, more gems than I would have expected? The Rhinox have shut down our cloud generator, and I may never see a rainbow again. You look really happy about that. Well, I'll help you fix it, but, you know, you should probably be upset about that instead of so cheerful. <laughs> uh, uh, let's make sure I don't miss anything. Bamp. What did that do? Oh, it makes this thing move. Okay. Please come back down. <laughs> and up. If my wings were big and strong like yours, I could easily glide across here. Uh, you're teaching me how to glide? Uh, alright. I mean, I guess this is just the third level in the game. It's still probably teaching me some basic concepts, because it's an early thing. Okay, you want to charge with these guys, because they're holding little metal shields. Sure, I don't miss anything. Smash, 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 she smash. Hey, Zoe. Enemies are wearing protects them from your dragon plane. Uh, I know. Hold down the charge button. You can defeat them with your charge attack. I, I know. I, I was doing this already. Thank you. It's kind of hard to aim. <laughs> Thankfully, they're terrible at aiming as well, so it's not a huge deal. There are a lot of big gems heading, hanging out in this level. Oh, something down there. Don't want to miss anything. Oh, I say an eggy. Stephanie. Oh, adorable. Stephanie is very cute. I'm so glad I hatched her in the middle of nowhere. It's very safe. <laughs> yeah, this this uh, storyline doesn't super make sense. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Jim, 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 jim. What are we doing? 30%? It's alright, I guess. Oh, how many bags? Well, well, if it isn't my favorite dragon, the sorceress has put me in charge of guarding these bellows. However, I might look the other way if I was distracted. 
Counting gems? <sighs> sure, whatever. Oh, yes. Precious, precious gems. Fucking well, capitalism. Time. You may now use the bellows anytime you wish. Best of luck on your little egg hunt. Our children were stolen. Why are you charging me money? Holy shit. Oh, what a monster. I think these are the bellows he was talking about, but I'm not quite sure. Mm, probably. It's the only thing around. Hey Zoe. Remember, to get your longest glide, press the jump button at the very top of your jump, and use the action button to hover at the end of your glide. Yeah, I know. Okay, hovering was a bit redundant there, but alright. I was expecting it to be like a maximum length glide, but it, it really wasn't. that guy there we go I think flink is more the word I was looking for but whatever <laughs> mm, it looked like I might be able to head bonk that but it doesn't seem to do anything hello oh, you activated the bellows maybe I can get the cloud generator working again Okay, so the real bad guy the whole time was money bags, because the, the cloud generator getting fixed was the objective. I don't think the Rhinox are relevant. Like the bellows were taken by by money bags, right? Was I the only one listening to the storyline? <laughs> hmm. I guess I want to go through here. Uh, uh, this sounds annoying. Uh, let me just grab some gems first, and then I'll come back and think about your annoying minigame, okay? Like, it sounds like one of those do-it-all-within-the-time-limit things where the number keeps going back down. And you remember how much I hated those in Spyro 2. So... Uh, if we're doing that again, I'm gonna be a little annoyed. Doing gem wise, we're getting there. So I'm gonna have a look around to make sure there aren't any other gems hanging out. I think all we gotta do now is the annoying objective to make a new sun or whatever they said. Is that what they said? A new sun? Something like that. Yeah, they gotta go in this cauldron. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, there's a gem. Okay, I think we're done now. Nope. Keep thinking we are done, and we are not. Maybe once they're in the pot, they stay heated, and it's just a, like, race to get them there in time sort of thing? You're going the wrong way, jerk. Oh, hang on. I can't control where they go. I just gotta keep flaming them. Okay, I get it. Okay, I completely misunderstood the objective here. I thought, like, they went, like, a fixed distance when you flamed them. 
But they don't, they actually follow a path and you just have to keep heating them up. Which is much easier. And I thought like, once they were in the pot I would have to rush to get the other ones before the first one expired, but it doesn't look like that's a problem either. Oh look how happy they are! Thumbs up! <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, this is fun. Uh, it's not very difficult, but it's fun. Maybe the last one will be really, really hard. Let's see. I mean, it's got less time, so I gotta go a little bit quicker. But it's still not very hard. There we go. Polarization, go! Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now that's what I call a sun. Here, you can have this last sun seed as a souvenir. Think it might be a dead though. I bet it's a dragon egg. <gasps> that's right, it's Lulu. Oh, adorable. Hi, Lulu. Okay, how are we doing? 61%. Uh, There's still a bunch more eggs to find, apparently. Uh, okay, the circle is telling me to leave this area. I'm pretty sure I'm done in there anyway. I just, I just didn't want to have to backtrack too much if I missed something. Where are you taking me? Oh. Oh, okay. 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 In the sky now. Hello. usually wake up our rain cloud at the crack of dawn. These mischievous spirits are stopping our bells from ringing. Oh no. Oh no, look, it's the egg thief from the first game. The, um, questionable racial stereotype egg thief from the first game. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, I was kind of expecting to see these because this game is about dragon eggs again, but... Oh no. Brian. Oh, Brian has glasses. That's cute. Still though, what, what, why did they design the, the thieves like that? Why, why didn't they keep the design from the first, like the original games on the PS1 where they didn't really have a race, they just had cartoonish eyes. But that was a lot better and less, you know, questionably racist. <laughs> uh. It's, it's not an improvement, is my point. It's, it's a, an... Im... Im... Uh, di, a di, 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 improvement. <laughs> I couldn't remember what I was trying to say there. <laughs> do I have to do this all in one go, or is it just like, keep flying till you get them? Okay, that was easy. Now our rain cloud is awake. Okay, so there's a factory that makes clouds, but there's also an alive cloud who dances and sings. Do you want this doodad? It fell out of the belfry. This setting is a little confusing. It's Jake! Aw, oh, look at Jake. Hi. Hi Jake. Okay, um, we still need to get a couple more gems. I think I saw something over here. And then there's some up on the cloud platform in the middle. And I think that's all of them in this area. How are we doing? Well, we're a lot closer. Oh, there's one over there. And there's one over there as well. <laughs> oh, jeez, there's so many I missed. <laughs> oh, gosh. I am enjoying this level, by the way. Uh, the, um, racial stereotype aside, because, yeah, that was a problem in the first game too, and it makes sense that it's back in this one, but I wish it weren't. Uh, but yeah, that issue aside, for the time being, otherwise it's good. <laughs> um, how do we get up to there? Can I get out of this thing while it's going up? Like, can I just go forward? Doesn't look like it. I have no control, it's just twirling me up. Hmm. Yeah, and Sparks is not going to go back. 
So that way doesn't isn't how you do it. Um, can I get on top of these things? Maybe. Mm, probably not though. Um, Because you can see there's treasure up there on top of the, those little ledges. Um, but I don't know how to reach it. Does using this thing help me, or does that go somewhere else? Ooh, no, that just leads back to here. I mean, it's helpful if I fall down, I guess, but it doesn't really help me get the treasure. I think there's another path I need to take? I can't ramp in this, can I? No. Oh, maybe I was supposed to glide to the top part from over there. That's why it was telling me, like, how to glide my furthest or whatever. Maybe maybe that's why it was so weirdly easy, because I did it wrong. That would explain some things. Let's go up. Yeah, I don't like waiting for moving platforms in games that have platforms. Um... It's, it's usually very annoying. And tends not to involve much actual, like, skill or whatever, it's just busy work. Um... Okay, no. No, I'm actually lower than those platforms, so that doesn't help me. Uh, hmm... What am I missing here? Can I get it, go over there somewhere? And get up that way? It looks like that guy's facing the other way, which would suggest I'm supposed to come from that direction. Uh, let's head over there and have a bit of a look around. See if I missed something. Hey Zoe. Uh... Okay, we've got a twirly whirly here. Twirly whirly 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 whirly. Okay, no. No, that kills me. Um... Hmm. Reigniting? I don't know why they added this thing every time you die. It doesn't seem necessary. What about this twirly whirly woo? Is that relevant? Oh, hello. This looks relevant. So we've got an extra life just there from that special butterfly. Um, there's also some gems here. Okay, yeah. Okay, we're back on track. Okay. Okay, okay. Make sure we didn't miss anything up here. Cool. And we can drive glide over there. Go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Lemons are not difficult to squeeze, I suppose. Is that what the expression came from? Don't know. Uh okay, then we want to fly over there to get the last couple of gems. Four hundred and the last egg. The last egg. <laughs> oh, hey Claire, I love your glasses. Oh, you're gay. Good for you. Okay, and that's level complete. I actually had a lot of fun with this one. Racial stereotype notwithstanding, the the rest was fun. <laughs> um, hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's, there's some questionable design decisions here, which I will be questioning as we go head on. Um, see, if they kept the original cartoony style, it's just, you know, their hoods are in shadow, you can just see their eyes poking out, that wouldn't, wouldn't have been too bad. If they'd made them white, that would also be fine. They did neither of those things. <laughs> They just, um, ma made them... Yeah. It it's not good. It's not good. Um, like, the original games had some problems with racial stereotypes, like some of the bosses in Spyro 1, for example. Also, Crash Bandicoot, for that matter, had similar problems. And the remakes haven't fixed any of that. They haven't, like, changed any of those characters at all. And they don't have, like, a disclaimer saying, you know, 
this comes from a different time, so don't judge it or whatever. It's just there, and it's like, well, you probably shouldn't have put this here. <sighs> anyway, um, I'm just gonna cut the video off there. That's gonna be a bit of a short video, but next time we'll be going... Uh, actually, I'll just wander forward a little bit so we can see what's gonna be next. Because I'm not really sure what other levels there are. Do you like the active camera mode? If not, I can set it back to the passive mode. Uh, okay, I, I won't change it. I think I'm fine. I think I think it's fine. I don't really know. Like I've been ma managing the camera pretty uh, proactively, so I'm not really sure what it is that the active camera mode is really doing for me. But uh, I'm not having too much trouble with it. <laughs> I say as I get lost because of the camera. <laughs> um, is there anything underwater here? I think there might have been, but I already got it. Maybe? I don't really remember. I'm, I'm just trying to find what the next level is so I know what I'm going to be doing next time. But I'm not sure where the levels are. Special task for Spark to be back here later? Okay, so that hasn't unlocked yet. That's like a future task. Uh, over there there's a- oh, here we go. There's something on that side. Get out of the water, Sparks. Also use Spyro. Uh, that's a speedway. I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to go to a speedway. Uh, I'm not going to do that next time. I'm going to do whatever level this is. Hopefully it's something better. Hello. At last, my portal is working again. Come visit me at the Tiki Lodge. Alright. Um, are you supposed to be, like, Australian? Like, Outback style? Or Tiki? It's not... I don't understand. Anyway, Molten Crater. There we go. That's the next level. We'll be going to Molten Crater next. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Bye.